Ladies, if a truck driver comes up to you with some bullshit in the industry, and we are saying that you guys don't deserve to be in this shit, I got five words for you. Three of them is this. Kiss my ass and fuck you, pay me. All you have to do is stay. complaining it doesn't matter because for one anybody could work in a job industry whether a man or a woman if you're a trucker oh well he wants to complain to stare at him all right mm -hmm. and walk away it's equal right he want to complain let him complain that's his problem not yours what's going on guys lockout man back again with another quick video for that ass right quick so check this out man i saw this uh video or i've seen this steve harvey episode where he was giving a uh, advice to this female trucker and it's kind of the same kind of the same advice under the same question that she asked him was how do you think females are respected in the industry all right unfortunately so for some cases I'm going to say, yes, there are for some cases because there's women out here in this industry that is grinding, that's getting their thing, that's turning around, that's turning around and making making a male dominant industry theirs. Now, there's some there's some males, some male truck drivers feel some kind of way because, you know, they 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 super truckers and. They only feel that only we can come out here to dominate this industry and all like that. It's ours. But there are females that's coming out in this industry showing and proving that they can do, if not better, what a man could do in this industry. We got we got female owner operators now. You know, we got female fleet owners. We got we got females that's coming up in this game that's showing that, yo, I can do it, too. If a man can run this company, I can run it, too. You know what I'm saying? Get up in this game, be headstrong with it, and roll with it. Shout out to my girl, Jay Rich. She's doing the damn thing. Follow that girl's journey from when she started at Stevens, fell down, got up, Hooked up with some hooked up with some people, but left them alone. Fell down again. And now look where she at. J Rich Global. Shout out to you, girl. Do your damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh the Diva Trucker. You know what I'm saying? She's a freight broker now. She got her, she got her, she owned her truck. She got somebody driving her truck. She's freight brokering. There's women that's coming out here. Shout out to uh perfect skin. Shout out to her for for DMXing a person when she went up in the in the in the trucking dealership to buy her own truck. She turned around that dealership across the street didn't want to mess with her because she was a woman. Didn't think that she had her mind right, thought that she was supposed to be at home, whatever. But she came up in there with a the bag of money, cash. Yo, I want this truck right here. I want this one. What you got? I got I got this amount of money for you right here. I got this. Yo, what you going to do for me? You know what I'm saying? Yo, you can't do nothing for me. I'm about to go to the I'm about to go to the next spot. But you know, they not going to let her go with that bag of money? No, nah, we're going to see if we can work with her. But see, there's also another stimul uh I, I the word the word escapes me, but there's another thing that goes on with women, right? Right? So women women are preceded as not knowing about stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing about stuff. Shout out to Michelle Lynn. Shout out to her. You want to know why? Because she was in the automotive business, right? She found out that her friend was getting horn swoggled, boot licked. She was getting hood wanked. She called that dude up and said, yo, I know what you're doing. I, I, I see I, 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 I see you, bro. Nah, you're going to do this for you're going to do this for my friend. You're going to do this, that and the third. And if you and if you don't do that for her, she's going to get up 
and go to another spot to 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 get a better deal. You can't get over on you you can't get over on these women no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially these women that got their head on, right? You can't get over these women no more. See these women, these new jack women now that got their head on right, they want you to think they stupid. Nah, I don't know shit. Nah, I, I don't know shit. They want you to know they stupid up until the time when it comes down to doing that business. Then they'll fuck your head up like, oh man, whoa. So shout out to the shout out to the women that's coming out in this industry that's doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even give a fuck about the respect. You don't even have to give them their respect. Fuck you. Fuck you. Pay me. That's it. That's what's up. If you can't if if you can't respect me for who I am and what I and what I'm doing out here, especially if I'm doing everything right, then bro, fuck you. I I don't need your I I I don't need your your accolades. I'm taking my accolades. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking my shit. Shout out to my shout out to my girl, you love India. Look at what she doing. Blowing up on uh blowing up on YouTube. Shout out to my girl Pink. She started, man, look, started started driving, started reefer, tanker. Now she's out there throwing chains. She's out there with the big dolls getting down and dirty, throwing chains. Shout out to the female flatbedders. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm looking at them like, whoa. I know I'm not going to go in the flatbed because I always think a flatbed was a young man's game. But I talked to a young lady back in the day. Shout out to LaShine. 50 years old, throwing chains, throwing straps, getting the damn thing, getting the damn thing done. Out there in the wintertime, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the elements, tarping. You know what I'm saying? You got to give these females their respect that's coming out here that's, that's, trying, to, that's trying to make something of themselves. You got to give them that. You got to give them their respect, man. Period. That's all I'm saying. Give them their respect. If they come out here doing the damn thing from the grind, from the grind up, give them their respect and stop trying to teach stop trying to treat them like like they some second class citizens because they're not. Especially now, this is for the women this is for the headstrong women, the independent women, the women that's getting down and dirty, the women that's doing it. Now, there are some females out there. Okay. Let's see what Steve Harvey has to say about this young lady right here. Let's see what's up. Let's, let's, let's see what Steve Harvey had to say to her. Hold on. Oh, where's Tracy from St. Louis? Hey, Steve. What's going on? I'm a truck driver, a uh, professional truck driver. Um, I've been driving for about three and a half years now. Um, it will be four years for me in February. Throughout the years, when I was teaming with male or female, I would get questioned if I'm getting trained or am I just a ride along or I'm just a person just going for a joy ride or I'm, this is not something for me. I've been stopped. I've been told that um, by older people I shouldn't be in this industry. But my question to you is, what is your opinion on women being out here in this industry? I mean, you in it. Very <laughs> you, you in it. You doing fine. You're a truck driver. It's what you wanted to do. Make that money. See, you That's you true. making money. You the truck driver. To hell with who don't think you ought to be out. You out there. Right. Exactly. I mean, let's look at the real deal. You don't look like a truck driver. He's breaking the rules. Most truck drivers I know got true. big ass stomachs. They look like they drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they eat honey buns. That's that's what I think of truck driving. And that's what we need to break the mold. We need to break that mold right there. We need to break that mold, man. We we need to break that. You know, if if Steve Harvey sees us as big belly, honey bun eating, 
gr- teeth rotten, narrow minded truck drivers, then you got to see that everybody else sees that too. You know what I'm saying? That's that, and I'm talking about truck drivers as a whole. You know, not just female truck drivers. Like we we not getting we're not getting the respect that we need. Only time that we get the respect that you know what? I'm I'm gonna save that. I'm I'm gonna save that. <laughs> so if I saw you, I wouldn't think you was a truck driver either. But what a lot of people want to do is you want everybody to be accepting of you, and that's probably not going to happen. Because you're in a male-dominated industry. Trucking is male-dominated. Now, if you're trying to break the barrier and change the way men view women, that's fine. But the best way to change men is to show them. Right. Quit worrying about them. You making money. You driving a truck. You get loads. You get the same amount of work everybody else get, right? Yes. Go on about your business. Amen. Yep. Yes. You know, there's three words that really can help you out through this. And, I, you know, I want you to understand there's three very powerful words. And I give it to people that I think have the ability to handle it. And when people are pressing you, remember these three words. Kiss my ass. Now let me ask something. This is my audience right here. Hey, have all of you used that term before at one time in your life? Raise your hand if you're very familiar with the term. Just raise your hand. I'm looking at you. Raise your hand if you've ever used the term. I use it all the time. It probably ain't a week go by. I don't turn around and tell somebody these three words. The more the majority of people is talking about me out there ain't never even met me. Nope. Never even met me. Got most stuff to say about me. Ain't never had a conversation. I'm a cool dude. If you a man and you've met me, you have to walk away and go, damn, that dude all right. Because I already know I'm a man's man. I was raised that way. So when I hear people who don't know me call into my show, get slide in my DMs, make a comment on my Instagram or Facebook or something. I ain't got no problem telling them this. <laughs> Soon as I see you. You know how many people that came up to me, Steve Harvey, I got a bone to pick with you. Kiss my ass. And just we stopping. You're not picking a bone with me today. I don't even know you. Those words are the most powerful Outside of I love you, I love you is a very powerful word. Right after that, I truly believe it's kiss my ass. I really do. (laughs) See how you're smiling? Yeah. Yeah, see? Thank you. (laughs) No, no, say thank you, Uncle Steve. Oh, thank you, Uncle Steve. My man say thank you, <laughs> thank you. That's what's up, man. That's that's what's up, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What he said, what, what he said was so fucking valuable, is that you guys should take it with you, women. Don't give don't give a hoop of what people think about you. If you're out there doing the damn thing, keep doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying, but. Coming from lockout men, I want you guys to be safe. I see a lot of you. I see a lot of you ladies. I see see a lot of you females out there. I'm looking. I'm watching. I see what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I I see exactly what y'all doing. Shout out to You Love India. Shout out to Coco's Journey. You know what I'm saying? I see. Shout out to the Curvy Trucker. Shout out to uh, Pink, uh, Pink Baby Doll. I, I see what y'all doing, man. I see what y'all doing. Y'all blowing up. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Shape World. Shout out to Ooh. Wait a minute. I gotta give I gotta give a super shout out to uh to keeping it 100, man. Yeah, we see you keeping it 100. We see you. I'm I'm watching you. You know what I'm saying? Getting them getting them catastatics in, the push-ups in and all like that. Yeah, you look at, yeah, I see you. We see you out here, you know what I'm saying? And you females know what, y'all know what y'all doing. 
Y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all blowing up on, on YouTube right now. So shout out to all you guys that's doing the damn thing on YouTube, Instagram, all of it. You know what I'm saying? Not only that y'all truck drivers, y'all out here getting it. Y'all out here doing the damn thing. Y'all being safe about it. And, and, and y'all walking tall. Super shout out to Jay Rich. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at them. I mean, she shot that one picture with them thick ass thighs and all like that. You wouldn't even know that she was a, a, a owner operator or a truck driver. See, that's 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 the persona that these smart business type women want to give that. I mean, give you guys out here. You know what I'm saying? They want you to they 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 they, they know that you coming on their channels and and looking at them like yeah you know we watching the we watching the thickness and everything you know and some of them probably might not even be paying attention to what you even saying you know you could probably go back and say hey bruh what did I say a few minutes ago uh exactly because you there you there for the visuals you know what I'm saying you there for the visuals. But when y'all go and meet them in real life, they'll fuck your ass up when they come when they come at you with the with the CEO style walk. You know what I'm saying? Give these ladies the respect that they deserve out here. If they can come out here in this industry, this male dominated industry right here, and and they can prove that they can walk at the upper echelon with these bros out here. That been out here for years, the super truckers and all like that, and you think, and they can walk with you, talk the talk with you, give them their respect. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Give these truck, give these female truck drivers that they, that the respect that they need, cause we as guys, as male truck drivers, they coming out here for the same reason why we're coming out here. To try to make something better for our family. Try to do something that try to do something that makes sure that we put food on the table. Keep the roof over their heads. You know what I'm saying? If they can come out here and do it, if they can come out here and do it, give them the respect that they need, man. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to all the lady drivers that's coming out here. And if you guys want to come on the Lockout Men podcast show, or I'm about to even, like, next year, I'm going to probably change the name. I'm going to take podcasts out of the name, and it's just going to be the Lockout Men show. You know what I'm saying? So look look for that. But if you want to come on the Lockout Men show and, and tell your story of how you got out here and how your humble beginnings was, Yo, come on, hit me up in the DM over at Instagram or hit me up in the in the Gmail. That's lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Yo, come over, come on over and share your story with us. I would love to hear how you got into this industry. I would love to hear how you broke the mold. I would I would love to hear how you shaping your life and the lives of others around you. All right. That's it. That's all I got. Lockout, man. If you like if you like content like this and more, smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? Just smash the like button. That's all I care about. Smash that like button. You know, the subs and everything else will come later. Smash that like button. Yo, I'll get back at you guys with another video. Peace.